Welcome back. From insects to rabbits to deer, there are a number of different pests that pose a threat to our NBC 26 garden. And this summer, it seems our tomato plants have really taken a beating. We attempt to prevent further damage in this week's Growing Healthy report. Okay, we're outside the NBC 26 Growing Healthy Garden. Joining me again is Jamie. Now, Jamie, we kind of have a, a, a sad-looking tomato plant. Here. Yes, yes, it's very sad. A lot of our leaves are missing. Something's getting at it. Something, yeah. And I thought it was a rabbit until you told me. Yeah, I, I, when I come in at like 3 in the morning, no, I haven't seen them here. If they were here, they'd be in trouble. But there's <laughs> always deer in that field. Okay. There always is. So we're having a feeling, especially since it's yeah. a little bit taller. Yeah. Could be a deer. Yeah, maybe. Either I or. We're not sure. So we're going to talk about some ways to keep pests out of your garden. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so obviously the first thing we could do is we could put up a fence. Yep. I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> there are some other ways. <laughs> All right. Many other ways. Many and other some ways. Interesting ones coming. Yes. Stay tuned. Um, so one thing people talk about a lot is garlic powder. Yes. Just sprinkling that on your plants. Okay. It's not going to taste good to the animals. Okay. So okay. right on top of the plant. Yep. Okay. Sounds so good. So that's one option. Um, then they make all kinds of commercial animal repellent sure. on the market. So you would just you mix this with water and then you would spray it. There'd be instructions on right your on plants. There. Yep, there's a certain ratio. Sure. Pepper spray. Again, it's something on the plant that's not going to taste good to the animals. Okay, you got some uh, dog hair here. I have some dog hair here. So dog hair, dog. Uh, <laughs> here's the last one. So urine. Urine. Yes, animals they don't like the smell of people. Okay. So I have a girlfriend who has her son and her husband pee in cups so she can spread it around her garden okay, so <laughs> to keep the animals away. Maybe do the business somewhere else and then come out here. And well, and yes, we have public decency issues. <laughs> we want to be <laughs> You don't want, yeah, okay, we'll just leave it at that. So, okay, you got the garlic, you have the, the repellent the pepper you can spray. buy in the, store, in the store, you have the hair. Dog hair, and human yes. hair. Human urine. <laughs> and human urine, You yes. heard it here first. <laughs> some good tips, and maybe we'll get some life out of our tomato plant. Maybe. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Again, this is growing healthy. All kinds of good tips. With enough warm weather, Jamie is hoping we still have enough time for our tomatoes to recover. And as always, for more gardening tips, just head on over to our website, NBC26.com.